for the uh, pretty epic performance at the start of that second half, helped the Knights to win today, didn't it? What did you make of that 20 minute spell? Oh, really pre pleased with the resilience, really ple pleased uh, that our goal line defence, we've, we've stood that amount of pressure. Obviously, we spent a lot of time working on it. Uh, we put it under some stress in training, but probably not that amount of stress. I think there were four, four sets of th three sets of four where we defended, you know, back to back. And uh, yeah, really, really, really proud of that. And uh, it wasn't a vintage yacht performance, certainly. I thought we gave some daft penalties away and didn't get shaped up. And we didn't have people in the right positions for, for too, on too many occasions. But we speak a lot about not giving up on stuff uh, and, and being proud of the team that tries harder. And I just thought, there were some really, really good examples of that today. And I, for some people, it's probably a small thing, but for you, I know it's a big thing. The way that the team was celebrating after pulling off some of those defensive efforts and stopping Barrow and forcing errors shows a lot of togetherness in this group, doesn't it? A absolutely, absolutely. Uh, listen, it's when, you, when you've got a team that wants to work for each other and everybody tips in and they're all on the same page, pulling the same direction, they're doing their bit within a system, uh, it gives you an awful lot of pleasure. You know, I've, been, I've been there as a player, not contrary to popular belief not too long ago uh, and then, and then to, to be the head coach of a side that just works so hard for one of them makes me so proud and uh, everything we do at this club is based on effort and based on togetherness uh, and yeah I'm really pleased with them. In, in the first half we probably, there was probably no indication of the 20 minute onslaught that we'd have at the start of the second half the first half was pretty level with both teams showing some pretty decent attacking play wasn't it? Well, I thought we were off, to be honest, Joe. I, th I don't think we got to anywhere near the levels we were capable with the ball. You've got to credit Barra for that. Uh, we just, it just seemed a little bit scrappy. We didn't get to points and we didn't have people in the right, in the right formation to ask the questions we wanted to ask. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, as I like said, credit Barrow for that. I thought they, they went with us uh, really effectively. Uh, but and I, the arm wrestle probably lasted longer than what what I anticipated based on us giving away uh, too many soft penalties you know, we call them pressure releases you know play for ball steal a couple of eye tackles on transition it's just not what we're aiming to be at, aiming to be uh, so we'll have a good look at that and aim for being better for Bradford you were able to welcome back uh, Will Oaks and Jamie Ellis into the uh into the match day 17 today as well what did you make of how they went in the first games for a few weeks hey, that's been that's been the wheel uh, I thought Will Oaks uh, worked really hard and I thought he looked hard to handle. You know, probably up there with 20 carries and you know, the amount of time he left the mark is disrupted and made good metres after contact. Yeah, really pleased with Will Oaks. He's still a very young man. Uh, and the two young boys have come in on the wing and, and, and played while he's been missing, they've done really well and the future looks bright for them. But you know, Will Oaks you know, has had a real strong game today. Uh, and Jamie, it's great to get him back. He's a great footballer, really naturally gifted, talented attacking uh, you know, halfback. Uh, yeah, and obviously coming back off a hamstring, I've suffered with him myself, so I've probably got a little little bit of uncertainty around him. Uh, and for him to get 30 minutes under his belt and then we get a week off, he should be ready to, you know, should be flying come Bradford. And uh, a word on Liam Harris, because he came up with a couple of pretty massive plays. There was a, sp try, a tackle down in the corner where he stopped Ryan Shaw, it looked like a dead set try. And then the try from Dummy Half, which probably blew the wind out of Barrow sails a little bit after withstanding the defence. Yeah, it really pleased me. I think everybody knows what I think about Liam. You know, I didn't want him to leave the club. You know, snapped his hand off when, when he wanted to come back. Uh, I think he's been I think he's played really well for us. You know, we've got three absolutely you know top draw half backs. You know, what I like about Liam's performance today were the ugly stuff as you said, you're know, chasing back, you're know, making tackles, scoring barge overs. Uh, Playing half, in my opinion, is not all about the fancy stuff. You know, uh, it's, you, you've got to do that, as, but also you've got to be willing to, to compete, and that's something I've been encouraging Liam to do, and, and today he's done it.